Mandy Curry, the co-founder of Healthy Kids Inc. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a low-fat, low-salt chicken pot pie. This is a really simple recipe. And it only requires a few ingredients. So the ingredients that you're going to need for this, one is a package of refrigerated pie crust. You're going to actually need both of the pie crusts that come in that package, as this is a recipe that serves four. In addition, you're going to need three-quarter pound of chicken breast diced up. You're also going to need one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of flour. You're also going to need a half of a cup of our low sodium chicken broth. And then you're going to be needing a small package of frozen mixed vegetables that you'll need to have thawed out before we get started. That takes care of all of our ingredients. So right now we have a pan that is heated to medium heat. We're going to go ahead and add our extra virgin olive oil to that and get that heated a little bit more. We're going to let this heat up for just a second before we go in with our chicken. All right, let's go ahead in with our chicken now. All we're going to do is just cook this chicken so that we've lost the pinkness of it. So it's only going to take about two minutes to cook this. Okay, our chicken is halfway through the cooking process. We wanted to make sure we removed all of the pink. So we have good color right now, and now it's time to go in with the remaining ingredients. So we're going to go ahead in with our stock right here. Also going to add our flour. Mix that around. And we're also going to add our thawed vegetables. We're going to mix this up really well. And it's going to take about five minutes. We're going to let the flour cling to the chicken and to the vegetables. And then we'll be ready to build our pot pie. Make sure that you bring the temperature to a simmer as you finish cooking this for the next five minutes. All right. Now that the vegetables are starting to cook up, we're going to go ahead and season with a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Give it another stir. And then about three more minutes, it should be ready for us. All right, so while our chicken mixture is cooking, we're going to go ahead and start to work on the basis of our chicken pot pie. So here is one part of the refrigerated pie crust. What I'm going to be using in this particular case are just an individual portion size for a chicken pot pie. These are great if you have them because they certainly help with portion control. If not, though, a regular pie pan is perfect for this as well. You could use the full shell for the bottom and then the additional shell for the top of it. So since we're going to be breaking these up into individual portion sizes, I'm only going to be using half of the pie crust for now. I'm going to reserve the rest of the other half. And the bottom will need to be a little bit bigger than the top. And I'll just pull this and stretch it just a little bit. And then all you have to do is simply drape this in here. No need to pre-bake this. It will just simply bake in the oven. And that is all you need for the bottom layer of your chicken pot pie. As soon as our mixture is ready, we'll go ahead and fill this, add the top, and stick it in the oven. Okay, our chicken mixture is exactly where we want it, so we're going to go ahead and start to fill our chicken pot pie crust. So again, this is enough to serve four, so we're just going to need a portion of this to fill this individual size. All right, that is filled. Now we're just going to go ahead and drape our crust over top, just let it come over the edge a little bit. This is such a fun dish and it's great for kids and again great for these individual serving sizes. Now we're going to go ahead and just take our fork, loop the end a little bit, and in the meantime we're going to be putting this into a 375 degree preheated oven. And you go ahead and put some slits here in the top. Okay, so our chicken pot pie is ready to go into a preheated 375 degree oven for 30 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. All right, we'll have the finished product for you in just a second. Okay, 30 minutes have passed and our chicken pot pie is ready and it looks gorgeous. Perfect golden brown. And if you want, you can even add a little touch of EVO to the top of it just to keep that golden brown nice and strong. All right, all we need to do at this point is just transfer that over to a plate and you have the most perfect low-fat, low-salt chicken pot pie. 